Sunday fun day, scoring. Warning, I love this video and think it's hilarious. You might not, you've been warned. Red Rover, Red Rover, can interesting science shit come over? We decided to take a different path because it was more scientifically interesting. Stay cool. This is a Thor News presentation. Five, four, Shut up. three, two, I'm one. Slack. Main engine start, ignition, and lift off. Thor News presents. Hi, my name is Katie Stack, and I'm a Curiosity rover mission scientist here at the Jet Propulsion Laboratory. And this is your Curiosity rover report. Well, hello, Katie. I can't get enough of the Jet Propulsion Lab people. Do you by any chance know Amy Mainzer? I hear she's a big fan of mine. Asterisk, do you know who I am? Are you familiar with my works? Do I have a secret JPL fan club? Who is your favorite X-Man? Wait, this is not about you or I. This is about Red Rover. Red Rover, Red Rover, let Mount Sharp come over. And if the mountain won't come to you, you will go to the mountain. After two years and nearly nine kilometers of driving, we finally arrived at the base of Mount Sharp. Mount Sharp? Why Mount Sharp? Is it a sharp mountain? How tall is Mount Sharp? Did you know that harp is in sharp? Is that supposed to be a joke? I don't think it's very funny. Mount Sharp. I love mountains. Is it one of those Mars mountains with snow? Can you snow ski on it? Does the Red Rover know how to snow ski? Did he bring skis and poles? Does a rover need poles? Oh my god. What if the Red Rover is a snowboarder? How much stuff can the little guy scoop up? I mean, won't he get filled up with dirt, soil, and clay pretty fast? Does NASA have a basement? Before we even arrived at Gale Crater, we used our orbital images to begin our exploration of Mount Sharp. Orbital images? How come I don't ever see many photos of the uh, snow parts? How come I don't ever see the snowy parts of Mars from the orbital images? Is it true that if you tweet me back, you lose your top secret security clearance? So this place is super cool and fascinating, huh? Could the orbital images not zoom in well enough? Did you guys have focus problems? I know you guys have focus problems a lot. Like, how, how far can the orbital imager zoom in? How did you choose this place and not Olympus Mons? That place is badass. We should terraform it, put a bunch of snow on top of it, turn it into the greatest resort of all time. Unless it's some ancient Martian burial ground, then we should just plant flowers and trees around it. So what did you guys find? Life? Cupcakes? So what did y'all find? Secret Martian pirate booty? Martians? Tell me, science. What did you find? Don't leave me in suspense. I can't handle suspense. What we found was an important boundary, separating the sediments of the Gale Crater floor and the layers of Lower Mount Sharp. The rover is now here at this important boundary. Boundaries? What do you mean boundaries? They got fences and gates and shit in Mars? I didn't know that. Why didn't you tell us stuff like that? That's trippy. My mind is blown, Miss Stack. Have you ever read The Watchmen? And I don't mean the crappy movie, I mean the amazing graphic novel by Alan Moore. That'll blow your mind. Do you like to have your mind blown, Katie? I mean, Miss or Mrs. Sharp. An earlier path to Murray Buttes would have delayed our arrival at Lower Mount Sharp. What did you say? Murray's butt? Man, you guys have a weird sense of humor. You ever notice that scientists always have like a dry, cryptic, creepy sense of humor? I mean, not all of them, just, you know, a major majority. An earlier path to Murray Buttes would have delayed our arrival at Lower Mount Sharp. Okay, you guys avoided Murray's butt? Yeah, good call. However, a couple of months ago, we decided to take a different path because it was more scientifically interesting. What? What? Different path become... Wait, repeat that. Can you say that again? What? What? However, a couple of months ago, we decided to take a different path because it was more scientifically interesting. Different path because more scientifically interesting? Now you've got me. Wait, whoa, hold up. Back that sentence up. Wait, whoa, 
hold up, back that sentence up, girl. I mean, scientist communicator, let's time machine rewind this to replay. What did you say? We decided to take a different path because it was more scientifically interesting. Scientifically interesting? Define. Because I'm a little hazy on the subject. Like they hadn't taken a photo, they hadn't taken a photo of plant planetoid dwarf planet Ceres since 2004. Even though they reconstituted the Hubble, they didn't find Ceres that interesting. Eris, which happens to be in the same location as the infamous planet X, they haven't taken a photo of that in like forever either. I mean, like I said, scientists are a peculiar brain of people, man. So I don't understand scientists. Explain to me, please. What is scientifically interesting? What is scientifically boring? Can you please define what you mean? What do you mean? Explain. I need details. I need you to dumb it down for me into layman's terms. On a scale of 1 to 10, on a scale of 1 to 10 of the scientifically interesting scale, I need a 1 and a 10. Like, what is super scientifically boring and what is super scientifically fascinating? Don't fail me now, Katie. Katie, come on. Don't fail me, Katie. You're young. You've got a chance to be different than all those other NASA people who won't talk to me. However, a couple of months ago, we decided to take a different path because it was more scientifically interesting, and that brought us to Pahrump Hills. Pahrump Hills? Who names this shit? How much does he or she get paid to name stuff, stupid stuff, on Mars? I really don't think the guy who named Olympus Mons is the same guy who named Pahrump Hills. You know, I mean, can I get a salary quote of whoever names this stuff? You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, maybe you shouldn't let scientists name stuff. Maybe writers and poets. Just an idea. And that brought us to Pahrump Hills, where we're encountering the rocks of Lower Mount Sharp nearly two kilometers before we originally expected. Are those rocks special? Are they scientifically special? Why are they scientifically special? And why won't you tell me what the definition of scientifically special is? Jenny? I'm sorry, I slipped into Forrest Gump for a moment there. Forgive me, Miss or Mrs. Sharp. Why won't you tell me? Why won't you define scientifically interesting for me? Why must you tease me with your science? It's like I'm looking at a science burka here. I can see a flash of the eyes of the interest, and I can only guess what might be below the science burka. But I do not know, and you will not tell me. Such a scientifically interesting tease. At this location, we're looking forward to obtaining our first drilled sample of Lower Mount Sharp. Oh, oh, ooh, now we're drilling samples. You have no idea how much I want, you have no idea how much I desire to drill a fine scientific sample. You know, boot, calling it a boot is pretty juvenile. Awesome. That's more like it. Red Rover, Red Rover, can interesting science shit come over? What did you call it? An earlier path to Murray Buttes would have delayed our arrival at Lower Mount Sharp. However, a couple of months ago, we decided to take a different path because it was more scientifically interesting. This bright outcrop is Pahrump Hills. It's about 15 meters across. Oh, I guess he just poops it out, huh? I guess poop isn't a very scientific term for it. Uh, I guess he just dumps it. <laughs> See what I did there? Man, I'm just kidding. That's what I like to do. I like to kid and joke and stuff. I like to take really boring stuff like dirt, clay, and um, make it interesting. What is scientifically interesting? Come on, please, Katie. Katie, I will send you flowers or beakers or calculators. Tell me, define what is scientifically interesting. I would like to know. This will bother me. I will not get to sleep, and I don't get to sleep much anyway. I just want to know what scientifically interesting is. Why did you give me that look? Are you mad at me? Did I say something offensive? Why are you upset with me? What did I do? I didn't mean it. My intentions and my actions were good. Why must scientists be so fragile? Why must scientists be so emotionally fragile? Were you in the Air Force? Have you ever been on a boat? Wouldn't you agree that you can't make clothes out of yogurt? That is a mouthful, so if you could. And while we're excited about what we may find here, our exploration of Mount Sharp is really just beginning. That is a mouthful. 
That's what she said. And then I said, this is to be continued. Sunday fun day, scoring. Warning, I love this video and think it's hilarious. You might not, you've been warned.